Find out why two rolls of film are definitely not better than one. Mantova was a point on the map, close enough to travel to and from Milan, but I knew nothing about it otherwise. We had hoped for an authentic sleepy Italian town and imagined at best coming home with a few scenic photos and perhaps the odd street photo if we were lucky. We walked from the train station wanting to find the excitement for the trip, but fatigue was sitting heavy as a result of the several 20k walks on the days prior around Milan and Verona and the multitude of trains, buses and metros we'd had to catch. Walking toward the town centre, we caught our first few glimpses of Mantova, the streets becoming more intriguing, cafes dotted around, alive with people. The lack of tourists, especially after Verona, felt like a good sign. As we turned the corner, the photographer part of my brain was starting to light up a little, even as the rucksack on my shoulder tried its best to drive my feet squarely into the ground. Looking down toward the beginning of what we assumed was the city square, we saw a beautiful classic car barreling around the corner. I had my Canon A1 35mm camera around my neck and took what felt like a singular lucky shot. And then there was another car, and then another. My feet took me to another spot quickly, where families sat around and enjoyed their Sunday mornings, almost oblivious to these cars of a bygone era racing by. I changed to a 28mm, getting closer, and fumbled through my bag for another roll of film, and readying a second camera, a cheap Fuji point and shoot loaded with Ilford HB5 black and white, and I placed it in a back pocket ready. I moved between people, patching for shots of the cars and the people around them. I'd finished a roll, swapping out for a new one, and moved film around, readying for the next. Used film went in the top pocket of my rucksack, fresh film still in my camera bag, and I left one in my pocket as the next in line. The cars continued, people celebrating their arrival that happened to coincide with our own. We had stumbled upon the Gran Premio Nuvolari, an international vintage car race on its last day, and I couldn't believe our luck. It feels trite to say it, but it felt kismet. You find yourself asking, what are the odds? How did this happen? I was traveling with another photographer, Jake Davis. We've traveled and shot together a lot, previously in the UK, Malta and Morocco, and we have a routine. We'd break off from each other, following the shots that called out to us, and we'd find each other in the crowds again, circling back, walking further into the city and then doing the same again, never shooting from the same spots at the same time and helping to ensure we both came back with the shots with the ones that we'd each chosen to follow. I found myself in that rare dizzying zone where everywhere I looked there was a shot, then another. Sometimes you know in the moment what you have, others you just hope to capture one five hundredth of a second of what you are feeling right then. I finished another roll, burning through my film. I reached into my pocket for the next roll and I pulled out two rolls. This wasn't supposed to happen. Two rolls instead of one meant that perhaps one of these had already been shot, and putting it back in the camera would double expose everything, and not in any artistically intentional way. I checked the leaders on the film. Neither looked used, but then the Canon would often rewind to that point anyway. The alternative was developing both and finding out that neither had been used, and I was already running low on film. I had to risk it, putting a roll in and then later shooting both, but it played on my mind for a week until I could get them developed. Luckily, they both only had one set of images and nothing was left unaccounted for. Three hours after we had arrived, and five rolls deep and exhausted, we left to check into our Airbnb, explore more of the city and momentarily recover from a bewildering stroke of luck in Mantova, Italy.